what is it, December 13th? Oh man, it's like cold, dude. We're down at the River Ader and uh, I think this might have been a stupid idea, dude. Oh my gosh, it's cold. I've got one rod out so far. Man, it's cold. It wouldn't be so bad uh, if it wasn't windy. Whew. But that, that wind, that wind. Holy Moses, will cut you straight in half. I've got the first rod out with some black lug and ragworm on it on a two hook Wessex rig. Um, I haven't used a Wessex rig before, but first time for everything, I guess. Um, yeah, River Raider, so obviously flounder. And I'm hoping this cold snap has, uh, uh, what you call it, killed all the crabs off, dude. I'm waiting for my hands to warm up so I can get my other rod out, man. Whew, it's cold, dude, it is cold. Cold, cold, cold. This may have been a dumb idea. I'm so cold, I better get a fish today. Seriously, gonna need to break out the hand warmers in a minute. That is for sure. Absolutely crazy. All right, what rig am I gonna use? I gotta warm my hands up, dude, I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't. I gotta warm up my hands. Dude, I'm almost positive there's something dinking around on that line. It could be crabs, because this place is plagued with crabs in the summertime. You come down here in the summertime, it ain't happening. It's just not, it's not happening. I'm gonna use this other Wessex rig. I find it pretty crazy. This is one of the easiest rigs to make and to use. And I've never used it. It's all about being, going simple, man. You don't need like crazy anything, dude. Clip downs and up and overs and quadle, quad, triple, duple uh, loop rigs. You don't need all that stuff, man, to be fair. I'm gonna put a plain lead on because that's what was recommended, a plain lead. So I'll slap one of them on. Whew. And this, oh, dude, where'd my worm? My black look, oh, there it is. Got a piece, whap! Black lug, I'll put that on, and then black lug on again, and just see if my lug worm is doing anything at all. I hope it does, because I got a buttload of frozen as well. Let's get this out so I can get my hands in the warmers. I'm gonna get this one up up river here. My rod might be a little bit too big, but it's gonna have to do right now. I could have oh, definitely used a smaller rod. All right, that one's up river. We are fishing. Yes. Now, I'm gonna go and get my hands warm, dude. All right, I'm gonna check out the crab situation on this rod right here. No crabs, so that's good. I'm watching that little rock right there, and that's telling me if it's flooding or not. Last time I looked at it, it was completely dry. Well, not dry, but there was no water on it. I'm hoping now 
We got some flood in and the fishes are gonna come because right now this sucks and I'm cold. Let's go, flood's coming. Get her done. Come on. Yo. It's gonna happen, man. It's gonna happen. The cold has paid off, dude. Flounder. Boom. This is a nice size one as well, man. All right. Oh, it did pay off. Yes. I thought maybe it was caught in the weed, but it wasn't. I tugged it a little bit. Boom. And it took off. Black lug. Tip of the ragworm, dude. Oh, man. I didn't even have the camera on getting it in. That sucked. Right. I'm going to get him unhooked. I'm gonna get him back in the water. And uh, yeah, dude, we're in, we're in, I'm stoked. It might be the only one I get today, but I don't care. I do not care. Uh, that was awesome. All right, so my bait concoction is the same as last time. Hopefully, maybe we can get another one. I should have put it out in front of me, but let's see what this one's doing. No weight on it. Tide's really ripping right now. Whew. Oh man, I'm stoked. Came for a flounder, got a flounder. It's gonna be a really short video, man, but that was cool. I enjoyed that. Okay, I'm gonna get this one in, rebate, and I'm gonna cast a little bit out in front of me. See, really, all I'm doing with this ragworm is tipping the hooks off so it flaps in the tide. So I've taken the tail off the lug. I'll fold it in half so I get a perfect half a piece. And then I'll take a whole ragworm this time. And I'll just nip it right up near the head. So then you got that right there. It seemed to work last time. It might not work again, but hey ho. I'm gonna cast it out right in front of me. There's that sand bank right there. I think that's where they're all going. Do I know that? No. <laughs> I'm not a pro flounder fisherman at all. I may have a bite here, guys. Or, it just moved around in the tide. I thought that was a knock. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's a hit right there, dude. Oh, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. Come on, man. Yeah, that is what I'm talking about. Boom. Yes. Oof. I knew it. Flounder number two, baby. Boom! Yes! A little bit smaller than the other one, but still flounder. Let's get him back, dude. Woo! Yes! But there's absolutely nothing warm about today, man. Nothing at all. That is me, dude. Short little session. Actually, nah. Uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. I'm not one for really fishing in the daytime, man. So really excited to get two flounder today. 
I was losing hope in the beginning. And it was like, oh man, gosh darn it. But a couple hours before high tide, I, back to back, boom, boom, two of them. And now it's just gone. Thanks for coming. It was fun. It was cold. I'm going back to the car now to get warm. I just had to have one more look. Get your butts out on the beach.